Good morning. It's very sunny, so I hope you can see, but this is the latest project that I've been working on over the last few days. Um, it's um, Art Deco 1930s um, uh, set of drawers. It's got a lovely curve to it, um, but I'm actually transforming it into uh, a child's dresser and uh, complete with a lovely little mushroom stool. Um, which will be really lovely by the time I've finished. It doesn't look much at the moment, um, but it's had a few coats of paint um, and some wallpaper on top. Some textured wallpaper, a kind of a geometric pattern just to give it a bit of um, a bit of oomph. Um, and these are the doors that I've been working on. I wallpapered them and painted them yesterday. And that's the top drawer that's um, going to be the only drawer. Um, it's going to have some lovely mushroom handles and the drawers did have a mirror at one point because there's evidence of where the screws went um, but um, instead of replacing the mirror I thought it might be quite fun to do a bit of a backdrop so I've created this it's hand painted um, that is going to fit on the back that should look quite nice and it should work really well with the uh, the mushroom theme as well but the, um, the thing I really wanted to show you is what to do with a boring side. Um, obviously this is just a plain side that I've, I've primed um, but this is the side that I've done so far and what I want to explain is how I did it. So, because I need to do the other side now. So basically I, uh, I painted it using my, my gloved hands which I found a lot easier than, um, than using a brush because I've used gloss and as you know with gloss it's very very difficult to blend colours so this is my uh, my colour palette so I start off with the dark and then I start swirling and merging colours into one another and let that dry slightly and then I go in with the clouds so um, it's just a kind of swirling motion like this and smudging um, and then obviously do the same with the green as well and I think the overall effect is quite striking so the only thing I need to do now is maybe add some flourishes like butterflies and a few flowers. So I am going to do the same with the other side and um, I will let you know how I get on. But um, I'll send you some more pictures um, and show you um, what the top will look like once everything's finished and all put together. But I think it should look really, really good.